guys, welcome to my guitar tutorial on how to play Take This Lonely Heart by Nothing But Thieves. Uh, so this song is from their new album and it is played in a standard E tuning so that you do need to tune your guitar to an E. Um, and also for the start of this song, it's in a clean tone, so either playing on an acoustic or from your clean tone on your electric guitar. Um, so to start with, it's a bar chord on the fourth fret and it's the just the sort of E shape, uh, but instead of playing it like you would normally, with uh, your third finger and your pinky, instead use your middle finger and your third finger. The reason being is you will introduce your pinky underneath there um, in the second half of the bar before it, it changes over. So to start with, it's just a few strums like so. Okay, so again. And at the end, there's a slight difference because you introduce your pinky underneath on the G string um, just before you go onto the next onto the next chord. So it sounds like this. And then after that, you sh you slide down to the second fret, and you want to play what's like a E E standard chord, just bar up on the on the second on the second fret there. So. And that just repeats. So you do that a few times. Like that. And so that just goes through um, until we kind of get to the sort of the pre-chorus. Um, so that's the first section. So this is how the, uh, the intro sounds. Okay, so moving on to the pre-chorus, just after you do that uh, the transition between those two chords there for a few bars, um, and what it does, it goes down to the E chord. So this is what it will sound like. And all that is, is you're playing either you can bar that on just like a, a sort of power chord E, or you can do that as a full E shape, uh, which is where you can uh, strum all the chords. It's a bit cleaner, it's quite a, nice, quite a nice tone. So what you do really is you palm mute just a few times, and you can either play that all downs, you can alternate, but um, I like to play it all downs. So you play about six per bar, so. And then it goes to the second fret, and you're just barring that normally. Um, so two, four, four. Pretty simple. Okay, so in the pre-chorus, um, it switches from the clean guitar over to the sort of dirty channel. Um, so it's more of a crunchy tone to that, so it's not too heavy, uh, so it should sound kind of something like this. And what you would do, you play exactly the same as what you were playing when it was clean, so it'd be like this. What it does, it's, it does this sort of slide pattern. Um, so when you've finished the last bar of the of, of on the second fret, instead it goes from sliding on the, the two, so you're going in octave, so it'd be on the second fret um, of the A string, and then you have your fourth finger, uh, or, your, or your pinky finger rather, on the fourth fret of the G string. So it's just done like this. And what you wanna do, you wanna slide that up to two frets higher, so the fourth, so, and then slide that up, sort of simultaneously to the sixth fret, and then you go back down to the E. So you 
can either pick every single one of those or you can just do that in one sort of sliding motion um, and just try and do that from sort of a, a quite a uh, heavy pick uh, from the second fret. So like that or individually. Okay, so that, that switch up there, um, instead of like after a couple of times of playing the two to the four to the six, instead you would switch it up um, and you play from the two to the four like you did before. So, but then you move up to the E string and play the two to the four again. So, and then you play that once more. So, then you move up to the sixth fret, play that twice. Move up to the seventh fret, and then after that, you want to go down to the octave that's on the fourth fret, so the fourth to the sixth, and then after that, it goes to a, a progression where you put your third finger on the fourth fret of the E string, then you get your first finger, put that on the second fret of the A string. So it's, it sounds a bit muffled, um, but you you play just the the E and the A string. So. That goes from the four to the two, down to the uh, the two and the one. So you you put in your middle finger on the second fret of the E, putting your first finger on the first fret of the A string. So. So pr pretty good. Okay, so after the chorus, it goes back to the verse, which is just the same as before. So what you're doing, you're, you're going on back onto the fourth fret and playing this. gradually sort of builds up again um, and that leads on to the interlude. Okay so the part where uh, he sings there's a pain in my neck it's getting sort of more progressive uh, not <laughs> not the pain in my neck but the uh, the song the lyrics um, it's getting a bit more intense so uh, it goes from the fourth fret so it changes up slightly from the <laughs> From there, it then slides up to the four. Uh, instead of putting your middle finger there to complete the sort of the E shape, instead you remove that, so it's more the bar chord now, and you're playing this a bit, bit harder. So. Then you move down and play that sort of same, same uh, shape on the A string, and you're playing the A minor shape on there. Then you go down to the E, so the open E. And then you go up to the second fret and you do the, the A shape, uh, sorry, the E shape on the second fret. Sort of the main 
the main riff uh, in the song. But at the very end of the song, it's, it's pretty simple. All there is is a few um, open E's to play. Um, and it's just three down, down strokes, pretty, pretty hard strokes as well. So it sounds like this. And that's really it. So, um, I mean, that would be the sort of full run through of the song. Some of the parts that I, uh, I have in the lesson, uh, they do repeat through the song, so just find where they fit into the song. Um, and it's just really not too too hard to get to grips with. Um, so the, I'll probably say the, the trickiest part if you're just learning guitar um, would be the sort of octave slides up. So once you get the hang of that, um, it's, it's pretty easy just to kind of replicate and uh, to kind of do throughout the whole song. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have any recommendations for any videos to do after this, whether that be nothing but thieves or any any different artists, um, please let me know. Um, also, the link to all my gear um, is in the description below. So I really uh, appreciate that if you uh, you know check out um, what what I have. And uh, yeah, any any recommendations, let me know. But thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.